Um, yeah, we are not using windows for mining. Or are we? Yes, because uh, HiveOS recently did release on Windows a software for mining. Um, yeah, let's test it out and uh, see the benchmarks and the setup and what's the difference between the Linux version because uh, a lot of guys like to use Windows. So stay tuned. Hey, hey, hey guys, uh, welcome back to uh, Mining Hardware channel and thank you for tuning in uh, for this video. So, yeah, HiveOS has released a version for Windows, which we'll be testing out today and see the benchmarks and what's the power usage and is there any difference uh, in the speed increase when you use Windows. Um, so yeah, for this uh, test purposes, we are using the RX 580 uh, mining rig with the Sapphire Nitro's 4 gigabyte cards and uh, it's already running on the uh, Hive OS but on the Linux version on Ubuntu um, so it is running on at uh, uh, 182 mega hash 182 and a half mega hashes uh, at the moment And it does use, and it does use uh, 790 watts of power. So yeah, it's it's not bad. It's not bad, you know, for for that that cards and the setup. Um, it's uh, <laughs> nearly nearly as efficient as the uh, Unminer E3. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, uh, they have released the uh, uh, Hive OS Windows version, which I. I'm gonna put now the SSD card on the same mining rig. Um, I, I, I just gonna show you before I do that. I will show you the the uh, speeds from the uh, from your website account on the Hive OS and what overclocks I'm using. So yeah, Hive OS is, is is absolutely great software. You can monitor everything here. You can modify cards. You can download BIOS from the graphics card. Choose which card you want. Um, you can uh, upload the uh, also the uh, uh, new image to the graphics new uh, BIOS to the new graphics card. You can flash them all at once, or you can flash uh, every card uh, one by one. So I'm running on these, as you can see. It also has the, the BIOS numbers on the uh, on the graphics cards, so you can see if all the all they are the same. Um, but yeah, I'm running overclock on these uh, 1,500 uh, core clock, uh, core state number one, and I'm using about core voltage from 840 to 820, and also the uh, memory clock is about 2,100 on all the cards. Just one of the is slightly less. Uh, I reduced it because this card kept crashing. So yeah, this is the settings I'm uh, using, and I'm getting this. Uh, output 182 mega hash at 790 watts of power. So I'm putting now Windows in. Uh, I have already installed the Hive OS. So I'll just switch off the rig. And put the, uh, the Windows on. Uh, so to set up Windows, it was a little bit tricky as usual. Uh, issues with the drivers and all other stuff, some kind of errors. But I get it, got it finally working it on uh, on the on the blockchain drivers. And uh, yeah, I just need to put in the BIOS that it uh, loads loads the uh, Windows first. Um, yeah, um, yeah, it's usually some issues on the Windows. Also, to install a Windows version, it's, it's very simple. It's the same, nearly the same way as Linux. You just sign up for HiveOS account and download the uh, Windows uh, version software. And uh, then you just install the, the software. Um, I will have all the, all the uh, download links and the registration links 
down in the description. You can check it out. And uh, yeah, when you have installed there, the window will pop up. Um, it will ask you for rig ID and password. So then you create a rig ID and password in your in your uh, website GUI, uh, your online account, and uh, attach a new rig, and that way you insert all the details and insert the password, and it will give you a rig ID. So when you put in these details, you can then uh, start overclocking the uh, miner from your online account. So you don't need any other overclocking tools. You can use the high OS as an overclocking tool, and it seems working very well. Um, some features, uh, doesn't work like you can cannot download the the, the BIOS. Um, also, I found out maybe this is because it's only one week old version somewhere, and uh, there is probably still issues, and it's only in beta. So yeah, the the uh, rig monitoring sometimes was switching off and showing it's offline, but uh, most of the cases it was working fine. Um, so yeah, you can see it uh, has booted up. So to see the miner, you need to type in your in the uh, the window which you see. You need to type in uh, miner, and it will show your miner. You can see that this is uh, mining at 185 megahash on Windows, it's slightly more, uh, about three megahash more. But it also does use about 100 watts. watts uh, 100 watts of power more. So yeah, if you <laughs> if you want a three mega hash uh, increase, you can put it on Windows. Um, I don't mind myself. Also, I don't use Windows much because uh, I feel it. You know, <laughs> all the time you have some kind of problems with Windows. So I prefer to use the uh, uh, prefer to use the uh, uh, Ubuntu version. And uh, so just refresh this. Yeah, and you can see here also, um, it's, it's showing the stats on the on the, your on your uh, web GUI. Uh, you can do the same way. You can do the overclocks here. Uh, these uh, actually I couldn't I couldn't fit the same overclock settings in the Windows version. Uh, if I put the core voltage on the 840 or 850, the cars keep crashing. I so I had to raise to 950. Um, it may, might be also stable if I reduce uh, a little bit, and maybe that would reduce also a little bit of power. But but anyway, you know this is this is the, the setting what I what what I was putting in, and this is the result I'm getting. I assume probably some people will all got more or some less. You know that's that's up to yourself. Also, but yeah, this way this way it's a good good option for for Windows miners because uh, HiveOS includes a lot of miners inside already, so you just Fill out the details on your web GUI, and uh, the rigs uh, will <coughs> read the setting and start mining whatever currency you're looking to mine. Um, yeah. Also, you can, uh, as I said in my previous video, <laughs> you can also uh, add the notification that has a description how to uh, attach your Telegram to HiveOS, a bot, and uh, if there is any changes. Uh, you will receive an, a notification messages to your uh, Telegram account, and yeah, this way is easy to manage if you have more rigs and uh, you don't need to go and see, you know, what is the stats. You just receive a message every hour. What how what's the total hash rate of your miners? Um, if any any of the cards is overheated or rig is rebooted or some of the cards is crashed. <laughs> All kind of these messages, which helps to sta uh, stabilize your rigs more and more. So yeah, and there is a stats page where you can uh, check the uh, check the uh, minor stats and so on. You know, there's a, there's a lot a lot of features inside. Um, so yeah, this was the window. Uh, this was the video for <laughs> Windows fans uh, who who loves to mine on Windows, who doesn't like Linux. Um, it's a, it's a, it's it's much better, I think, just to uh, simply, um, simply download the uh, uh, Claymore Miner and mine because uh, you can operate from your web GUI and uh, 
you also receive and uh, stats and uh, all kind of other features so yeah this is very useful i think so you can see the rig is still mining uh, stable and uh, the hash rate didn't decrease and uh, it has uh, uh, mining at the same speed about 185 uh, mega hashes i know the the um, uh, mining times is very tough now uh, the profits are very little but just hold on guys um we will probably go back um to the uh mining profits we used to be it just uh takes a time you know because we are at the moment in the bear market and uh it, lo it looks like a it's it's a very big uh, bear market and when we get out of this you know we will back just hold on there and uh, <laughs> keep mining well, that that that's what what all what all i'm uh, uh, thinking and I want to say to you. Um, also, you are watching uh, Mining Hardware channel and thank you for tuning in for this video. And uh, I hope you did enjoy. If you did, hit the like button, uh, subscribe the channel. And uh, yeah, I, s I will see you on the next videos. Thank you guys, bye. Yeah, let's put this thing back. Ah, uh, yes, let's put this thing back. Yeah, let's let's put this thing up. Uh, yeah, guys, let's put it in back on uh, Ubuntu. I had enough with Windows.